And this is the inside track of probe into DSP's murder. Surendra Singh, he was with gunmen and a driver when a truck was flagged off. Singh, along with his team, had gone to inspect the area for illegal mining in the Aravali Hills. This is in the Panchgao area of Tauru. This particular area is known for illegal mining and mafia is allegedly very active here. At around noon, the truck which was moving around this area was asked uh, to stop. It was stopped and Singh asked the driver to hand over the papers of the truck. Now then the driver was asked to show his papers, license. There was a routine check that the officer was doing. The driver panicked. He ran over the truck on the officer. The gunman and Singh, the driver, allegedly uh, ran after the truck but lost track. The details have been shared but it is suspected that the registration number could be a fake one. I will try and cut across to my colleague Anshul who is getting us more details on the story. Anshul, I have just put out the details for our viewers. Tell us about this preliminary investigation. So yes, the preliminary investigation has already started. What we know is, is that the incident happened at around 8 a.m. this morning. Is, uh, at, at around uh, noon, the, uh, noon uh, today is what we have been told as of now. So as, the, as you rightly pointed out that uh, this truck was allegedly moving in that area and this area near the Aravali Hills is infamous for mining. There have been m many complaints from the locals as well in that area who reside in that area that illegal mining takes place in that area. Now, since this morning, uh, uh, the DSP was was in, in fact on a round in that area where, mm -hmm. where initially he found out that the truck was moving very suspiciously and when he tried to stop that truck, the truck initially stopped. When the, when the, he went ahead and asked for the papers and registration of the truck along with the license of the driver, the driver then panicked and hence um, uh, moved over the truck o o over over the DSP which resulted in his death. The driver and, and the gunman who was accompanying him actually tried to chase down the truck but lost track because of the kind of motion uh, that 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 came up now what we are picking up is that his body has been sent for for post mortem and what we are being told is that tomorrow will be the day where the last rites would happen near near hisar hisar is the place where his uh, many people from his family stay in hisar so yes the uh, last rites are likely to happen tomorrow but yes a very very shocking news coming in as, as of now uh, from uh, from haryana where land mining is one of the biggest issues we know uh, we had covered uh, during the haryana elections as well that how land mining and the land mafias have an influence over the entire area how okay. the police okay. and the, Anshul, and the I'm other, sorry I'm going to interrupt you there I'll come back to, uh, to you Anil Vich, the Home Minister of Haryana has spoken let's listen in to him DSP raid मारने गए थे और खनन माफिया ने जो है वो डंपर के नीचे कुचल दिया मौके पे ही मौत होगी क्या कहेंगे बिल्कुल सख्त कार्रवाई करने के मैंने आदेश जारी कर दिए हैं चाहे जितनी भी पुलिस लगानी पड़े जितनी भी फोर्स बुलानी पड़े आसपास के जिलों की बुलानी पड़े हम पूरी कार्रवाई करेंगे और किसी को भी हम बख्शेंगे नहीं साहब इस तरीके के जो है पूरे प्रदेश में यमुनानगर में भी जो है कई बार ऐसे मामले आए हैं नहीं बिल्कुल किसी को नहीं बख्शा जाएगा सखर से सख्त कार्रवाई की जाएगी डाडू में एक डीएसपी रेड मारने गए थे और खनन माफिया ने जो है वो डंपर के नीचे कुचल दिया मौके पे ही मौत होगी क्या कहेंगे बिल्कुल that was the word coming in from Anil Vej. Anshul, uh, the details that you had put out, uh, a response was sought from the Home Minister of the state and he said that stringent action is going to be taken. But the testimony of the driver and the gunmen who were present on the spot is going to be very, very crucial in this investigation. Uh, that's right. So they are the only two prime uh, witnesses in this case as of now. So yes, their testimony is going to be very, very crucial. And what they are picking up is that police has, is already uh, talking to them and taking this, uh, noting down their statement. And that is from where we got these details of how the actually event trans uh, transpired. So yes, the testimony and especially the faces uh, of the driver of the driver who was sitting inside that truck, his face would also be uh, would also be very, very crucial in po pointing out as to which gang did he belong to and what are the details that would that could come out from the whole scenario because yes these are very infamous people who who actually have a hold in that in, in that area near the near the hills they have that hold over there they are infamous for for this whole uh, scenario they have ca many cases against them so yes uh, in the next few minutes as the investigation by the haryana police is going on we heard the home minister also 
also yes the haryana police and the Har- haryana administration is under pressure right now to make mm-hmm. sure that the culprits are arrested at the earliest and they are apprehended at the earliest but uh, but yes the, as as of now no arrest has been made it has oh, almost been 2 uh, to 3 hours since this incident ha- has happened yeah. and no yeah. arrest has happened as of now is what we are picking up but yes the police uh, has has put out its forces has sent the message that such and such truck needs to be identified at the earliest but yes the yeah. truck has still not been found the people who were actually involved in this incident has not been found and the mafia the gang that was actually the truck which belonged to the mafia yeah. the that mafia gang has still not uh, also been identified so yes the police yeah. is continuing with its investigation but yeah. it is going to take some time for, from the police sources is what we are being told to actually point out each and every person who was involved Absolutely. in this whole scena- scenario now well, remember this dsp was supposed to retire in 3 months from now that my colleague anshul is putting out he's on route to know and he's going to get us more ground details this will continue to be a top focus on this broadcast slipping into a very short break